brothers in merry Scotland. In merry Scotland there were three. And they did cast lots which of them should go, should go, should go. And turn rubber all on the salt sea. The lot it fell first upon Henry Martin, the youngest of all the three. That he should turn rubber all on the salt sea, the salt sea, the salt sea. For to maintain his two brothers and he. They had not been sailing but a long winter's night and part of a short winter's day. When he espied a stout lofty ship, lofty ship, lofty ship. Down on him straightway. Hello, hello, cried Henry Martin. What makes you sail so nigh? I'm a rich merchant ship bound for fair London town, London town, London town. Would you please for to let me pass by? Oh no. Henry Martin, this thing it never could be. For I have turned a robber all on the salt sea, the salt sea, the salt sea. For to maintain my two brothers and me. Come lower your topsail and rail up your mizzen. Bring your ship under my lee. Or I will give to you a full cannonball, 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 and all your dear bodies drown in the salt sea. Oh no, we won't lower our lofty topsail, nor bring our ship under your lee, and you shan't take from us our rich merchant goods, merchant goods, merchant goods. Nor point our bold guns to the sea. And broadside and broadside and at it they went for fully two hours or three, till Henry Martin gave to them the death shot, the death shot, the death shot. Straight to the bottom went she. Bad news, bad news to old England came. Bad news to fair London town. There's been a rich vessel and she's cast away, cast away, cast away. 